need to go put my electrodes on my back. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, just went live. Awesome. Oh, well, nonetheless, uh, it is our Christmas podcast, and I'm going to be playing some robots in YGO Pro because, you know, reasons. So, Merry Christmas, <laughs> everyone. Yes, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Chanaka, uh, New Year's. It, 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 it's Hanukkah. It, it, it's it, it's everything. <laughs> it's no, it, no, it's no, it's Hanukkah. Oh, look at him it's already. Chanaka doesn't mean you pronounce it Chanaka. You you pronounce it in Hebrew. It's Hanukkah. See, now I don't want to. Oh, nonetheless, we got uh, some sticky electrodes. <laughs> We got some uh, some interesting stuff to talk about today. <laughs> For oh, one, it's not gonna work. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> For one, uh, tomorrow I will be actually uploading a brand new game. Well, well, I say brand new game, but. I, wow, I actually just beat the AI in like two turns. <laughs> okay, uh, but I will be doing episode two of Alan Wake tomorrow. And yeah, it's it's been a little bit of time, a little bit of, uh, since I last did one. The last time I actually did an Alan Wake was back in the Halloween special. Okay. One second. But I will be uh I'll be doing that tomorrow and next month we will be doing uh well I I I, I will be doing brand new episode okay. of my DK Angel indoors, and it won't be outlast the base game, cause you know. And uh, sorry, I just turned my electrodes <laughs> on. Okay. Uh. But yeah, it will not be the outlast base game, not yet, anyways. Thought you were already playing outlast. Yeah, well, I did whistleblower. I haven't done outlast yet. Huh. Yeah, I beat the DLC just a couple of days ago. Oh, you ago. haven't done the actual story. Yeah. Okay, see, I was under the impression you were doing a story because I kept getting notified. Oh, sorry, the electrode. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little electric massage in my back. But yeah, yeah I, I did the DLC high. first. Oh, okay. Well, for those of you that don't know... Um, I'm going through physical therapy right now, and so I apologize when I randomly make sounds like that. I have, uh, it's called a TENS machine, oh, and it sends electric pulses into uh, damaged muscles and helps to basically stimulate them into repairing themselves. So, if I periodically make an odd sound, that's what that is. <laughs> It's just a random electric pulse hitting the muscle just right. And, uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I was actually doing the DLC. Uh, DLC was actually pretty fun. Uh, Gloskin can go f screw himself all I care, cause that shit freaked me out. Uh, but next month, I will be doing the game Deadpool. Yep, and I'm wearing my Deadpool shirt in anticipation of this this 
fun announcement. No, really? Yes. You should probably wait till February for Deadpool, since that's when well, a Deadpool they... movie comes out. It, well, I, I mean... I just thought about that. I mean, I guess we could do it in January and make it our precursor to the, to the yeah. Deadpool movie that's coming out. Yeah, sort of like a lead-up to it. <sighs> doesn't help the fact that uh, I know sooner or later I will have to do the base game for Outlast so but I wanted to do the DLC first because of one reason one reason only it's shorter uh He summoned Cyberdinosaur. Um, but we wanted to do this Christmas podcast and more or less just say uh, Merry Christmas and all this other stuff and kind of do like a recap of what all we were able to do this year. And kind of what we have for next year as well. Because uh, this year we, we did a lot in the overall perspective. Uh, Got a bunch of new people to help us out, get us some uh, new stories in the works. Um, we also have this. Uh, oh God, hold on, let me look. First, which is a day next. So next Thursday. We will be releasing the very first book of Destiny's Unchained. January 1st, however, we'll be releasing the first book of Is Love a Crime. Releasing both books back to back? Mm hmm. One day apart? Yep. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with the electricity now. <laughs> I'm giving myself an electric back massage. Sounds... Sounds relaxing. <laughs> uh... It, it is. Uh, I'm not supposed to be causing the muscles to spasm, but it feels so good. <laughs> oh... But yeah, um... We're releasing them back to back days. Uh, and these are just like the first books of this entire series. Because, like, Destiny's Unchained is going to have like seven books. <laughs> and Is Love a Crime is only going to have three books, strangely enough. to go ahead and let them all know about that because of one reason uh, we don't have a lot of activity towards the actual website per se which I wanted to kind of give a shout out to our own website I'm gonna actually put that in the, in the description of how you can actually go to the website because once you are able to actually purchase these said books. Ooh, hello, I can summon that. Yay! Yay! Okay, apologize for that. <laughs> I did something. What just I, I did something that I didn't know I could do, but now I could do it. Mm. It was it was interesting. But, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out to my own website because of the fact that uh, I'm gonna need people to start heading over there because that's gonna be the only place that you'll be able to purchase these books. We do have a shop section which will be fully accessible uh, next Thursday. Strange. Now, are they gonna be paperback or hardback? At first, they will be ebooks. Because I know a lot of people, they uh, they like to bring their tablets and and phones and all this other stuff, and they're able to read it like that. But they'll start off with uh, the ebooks, and then we will hopefully, after we've saved up enough money, go straight into hardbacks. But another thing User is in your channel timed out. Oh, oh! Seems we've we've lost one of our the asylum. <laughs> well, while uh, he's gone, I'll continue to speak until he gets back. Um, nonetheless, we also will be doing. Oh wait, hold on. Got to send that to the graveyard. Okay. We will be more or less changing up the game plan because I I'm going to try and do about two armored warfare videos a week. I uh, recently just joined the big world gaming league community called Havoc, and a lot of the time I'm actually on armored warfare now. Pretty late at night, I'm doing videos. I'm uh, I'm doing PV matches and stuff. You can actually go check that out on our YouTube at DK Rager. Um, actually, we'll have a new up new episode next week where I actually do the Starship. A uh, pretty decent tank. Uh, I'll kind of give you a description about that next week. But I wanted to let you all know that. I will be starting to do about two videos, Identify uh, yourself. Two, armor vi two armored warfare videos a week. And Sorry welcome about back. That. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I was just actually discussing about the fact that I'm gonna try and do about two armored warfare videos a week. Is there any word on the Sir Porkins story? The Sir Porkins videos? Oh, uh, actually, yes. I will be starting that back up next month. It kind of went on break for a while, and I know a lot of people have actually been disappointed. I've actually had messages when they've said, Where's Sir Porkins? And all. So, yeah, I can, I can confirm that Sir Porkins will return next month. Just waiting for the, mm. the the people out there that says isn't Sir Borkins like a ripoff of something else and yeah no is Sir Borkins a ripoff of something else uh uh nope it's kind of an ode if anything to Team Four Stars uh Dumplin mm. yeah I wanted to do an ode to him. Because they had a really good series. So I figured, eh, might as well. Eh. Plus I wanted to play Xenoverse and do videos on it anyway, so. Which, sad, mm. to, sad to say, Xenoverse was n actually not all that great of a game. I'm actually really disappointed because I really felt like it was going to be a good game. I heard multiple uh, positive reviews about it. I haven't actually gotten the chance to play it yet, but I've heard multiple... Oh, son of a bitch! The whole reason I stood up was to get my damn pen. <laughs> One of the biggest issues with Xenoverse 
is the fact that it's very easy to go through the game. Well, yeah, I and mean, it it's to be. and it's very grindy. Like well, you yeah, can... I mean, the main difficulty of the game was meant to be battling against other people. That was the big selling point of that game. But if you're just doing single player, it's kind of meh. Like, I actually finished uh, the game, not with Sir Porkins, but my own main character in about a week. In about a week of gameplay is kind of meh. Like, well, I mean, it's on the same note. A lot of people were so excited with uh, Arkham Knight when it first came out, and then all the issues that everyone said that they well, had. Well, Arkham Knight was just... Arkham Knight was... It, it was just Arkham Knight. Well, the biggest problem with Arkham Knight and the way that people are talking about is the fact that when they started it up, they automatically s said that they had, like, PC issues and all this other stuff, and maybe running it on a toaster isn't a good idea then? No knock Going to PC's anybody, toaster. but... But my PC is, I mean, it's not even top of the line, and I never had any gaming issues throughout the entire game, and I beat it. Well, there was a lot of glitches that were found. That's what I'm saying, it's oh like... Oh my god, why won't this write on this? Uh, what are you trying to write on? I'm trying to write on... Oh, it's not writing on anything right now. Won't even write on regular paper. Interesting. My pen. It's writing on my hand, but it won't write on regular paper right now. It's really bugging me. It's one of my new fountain calligraphy pens that I got. Hmm. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, I mean, eh, the game was okay, and I'm going to finish the, the Xenoverse game whenever I actually do it. Ah, no. This last frickin', uh, patch for YGO is really bad, because, like, they screwed up a lot of things. It's bugging like crazy. Is it? Yeah, um... There's error that'll occur out of nowhere, and then there's times where stuff makes no damn sense at all. Move, dog, get out of my face. But yeah, it, it's it's got its issues now because it's like there's an error occur that almost happens every freaking match. Not always, because, I mean, during the tournament, nothing really bad happened, per se. But I wanted to look back towards all of what we did uh, throughout the year and kind of a lead up to next year. Uh, more or less, we had a lot of people join up. We've had people leave. We've had even had some uh, some new projects in the works, and it's gonna be one of those things where you. You don't know when the next project will be, or what the next project will be. But, it gets to that point where you're kind of like, if you wanted to Take be a part of this... Right out. <laughs> well, it was, I mean, well, we had Kevin that joined not too long ago, and then he had to go do some stuff. Oh, damn it. 
or Kevin? You said Kevin, so I wrote Kevin on the damn tag. <laughs> Are you <Yes>. okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> now I gotta put another tag over top of this one. And try again. Oh, damn it, now it won't write again. This is all your fault, Chris. <laughs> this is not my fault. <laughs> okay. One thing I'm going to go ahead and ask you, uh, Mr. Lycow, Casey, uh, person, uh -huh. is... When are you wanting to start up our new series? Uh, which one? The, uh, character comparison videos. Ah, that one. I am totally ready to start that up uh, sometime next month. Probably within the first couple of weeks. Um... I just need to get all of my everything situated. <laughs> and that's understandable. <laughs> the the physical therapy and with work being as crazy as it was the last few weeks before Christmas, it was a little difficult to uh, plan those things out. However, now that Christmas has officially ended, well, not officially ended, but now that a Christmas is officially tomorrow, um, it makes it much easier for me to plan and get things going. Uh, yeah. That being said, I am still working on my book project. Um, it will be revealed later on in the year, um, as soon as I have a, a working teaser prologue, so to speak, to go with it. Um, that will also excuse me. That will also be dropped and revealed. Um, let me see what else. What else is there? There's something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, um, well, kind of. Um, at some point soon, in the next month or so, um, I will be starting a game series of my own. It will be South Park, The Truth. If you've never played it, pretty awesome. If you have, it'll be fun watching me play it. Um, I haven't decided what class I should play, so if you have played it, um, go ahead and drop in the comments which class you think I should play. Um, I'm sure I probably already know what class is going to get picked because any South Park fans know what classes there are. For those of you that do not know the classes, there is uh, Warrior, Wizard, I believe Rogue or Ranger. Is it Ranger? I think it's Ranger. It's either Ranger or Rogue. Yeah, I believe it's Ranger. Um, and then, of course, the last class is the Jew class. <laughs> um, because it's Cartman's game, so... Gotta be filled with... Or, rather, Cartman's in charge of this fantasy world that the kids are playing in, so, of course, it has to be filled with anti-Semitism. But, of course. Um... But, yes, I will totally be playing uh, South Park Sick of Truth. Not sure whether it'll be Xbox or PlayStation that I play it on. Depends on whichever one I happen to uh, have access to first. This present looks terrible, but it's okay, because now she won't be able to guess what it is. <laughs> Things that worked one. out. <laughs> Things work out some some different ways sometimes. Oh, but um, 
I don't want to use trade in. Screw trade in. Ah, I can't use my kaleidoscope. I used that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that. Um, but that's that's good to hear. And next month, as, as you you heard it here, you you you. What what the hell kind of accent was that? I don't know. That <laughs> um, was weird. Yeah, that kind of scared me. Um, yeah, next month we'll be actually starting that up. We'll be starting up our character comparison videos where we will try to be as unbiased as possible. <laughs> well, I intend to be fully unbiased. It's not going to be one of those things where, like, who would win, Goku or Sonic the Hedgehog or some shit? Or one of those things where who would win, Goku or Superman? Well, it depends on which boys are running the show at the time. <laughs> yeah. That was not a knock Come towards on. them. <laughs> oh, no. That was totally a knock towards fanboys that only pick the person they fanboy for. <laughs> Seriously, this is pissing me off. Why is it pissing you off? Because my fucking pen won't write. That's gotta suck. Yeah, it really does, because I just bought these damn pens, and now they won't write. I Jeez. don't know why. There, you're gonna do it now? No? Still not gonna write? Why the fuck not? Still full of ink. Yeah, you are still chock full of ink. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Everything is just being so difficult today. It's been one of those weeks. It has. Oh. But pretty much, I mean, we've got a lot planned. Like I was talking about earlier, I'm going to be trying to do two two videos of Armored Warfare a week because I'm now affiliated with Havoc. I'm going to try Seriously, this. Seriously, this is going to piss me the fuck off. There's no reason... I feel so bad that you're having so many issues right now. All right, there we go. It's finally working. Woot. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to try and get two videos, two armor warfare videos a week. Uh, try and actually show us all the tanks plus all the different, uh, ways to go certain ways and maybe even some interesting trick videos that I've picked up while being in Havoc. Yes, and that's a shout out to Havoc. Thank you all for letting me be a part of Havoc. Uh, sorry, still in the process of wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> 
It's been it a very is, long day. It is perfectly okay. I mean, it's uh, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> it is, and I'm ready for it to be Christmas. Trust me. I'm beyond ready for it to be Christmas. Cyber Eltaton screwed up my frickin' field. Sheesh. Alright. Time to take the electrodes off. They've been on for a good while now. <laughs> oh. But, um, another thing, go ahead and quick mention out is this Saturday we will be holding our finals, shall I say. The finals of... Uh, the Final Frontier. Yeah, the Final Frontier, that too. Um, but no, the finals of our Animatrix <laughs> World Cup. <laughs> where Mr. Lycow, who just burped on... Team speak. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, yes. Is <laughs> that a burp? Oh, my apologies. Oh um, my <laughs> but who? Uh. Miss, Mr. Like out here will be taking on Bradikins. Yes, the, f the finals are almost here. I, I wonder who will win. I mean, if anybody's seen our previous videos, pretty sure we all know who's going to win. I'm curious to see what deck you're going to be running because of the rule system. Yeah, I might need a refresher on that. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure it's all... It's only up to... Uh, Neo Space... Or to... Uh, GX, right? Yeah. Start of the show to GX. It's all you're allowed to use. Mm -hmm. Nothing past that. Nothing past that. Okay, well then... I'm in, I'm excited to see what deck I'm going to use. Of course, if you can actually build a certain meta deck without using any of the 5Ds or Zexel. Oh no, 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 no! I won't. I won't use that. That's not fair, and it's against the rules. You won't use Gem Knights like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair and against the rules. Thankfully, with Gem Knights, I, I didn't have to actually use... Get up! Go lay down somewhere. Get off those presents. Yeah, thankfully, Gem Knights don't have to uh. actually use any of the uh, band lists that we actually had. They were just fusions. So it was, it was kind of interesting learning how to play the Gem Knights. And I'm surprised that Bradikins was able to beat me. I, I really am. Because, like, at the start of it, I was winning. And the whole time that me and him were practicing, he, I, I was winning. And <laughs> I, I guess my luck didn't pan I'm out anymore. Grab my DS. <laughs> uh. Probably grab my DS to make sure these games actually work. Yeah, yeah go to sleep, guys. Got to put you behind in your past. <laughs> you know, with, put your past behind you. All right, the kids watch Lion King to go to bed. So <laughs> there are so many of those lines memorized in my brain right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. But yeah, there's there's quite a bit coming. Um, got the like I said, the Alan Wake episode will be up by tomorrow. 
Are we streaming the entire episode for episode two? It'll be the my Christmas special to you all. Let's figure out if there's anything on these used games. Did you leave your save data when you, uh... Okay. Let's find out if... If they used their save data. Oh, software updates available. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I've already had the software update. At least I thought I did. Apparently I only have the software update for my version and not the other version. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I need a system update now. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty. Um, oh. We have another new project in the works. Kind of top secret. Um. I mean, I say top secret, but it's not really all that top secret. Um, we have a new show series that we've been working on and discussing um, the last few days. And so, we'll have more information on that in a couple of, in about a month or so. So, during yeah. the next podcast or the podcast after, we should have some more information. I just, I don't understand what the heck is going on. Hey, we're live again, okay. I apologize Welcome back. for that. Sorry about, the Sorry about the stream dropping. Uh, Chris is blaming YGO. I blame Chris. And if Isaac was here, he'd be blaming me as well. <laughs> Th this is the kind of things that I have to put up with every day. Everyone blames me for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you hurry up and fuck it up, Isaac earlier actually blaming me for the fact that Team Four Star hasn't uploaded the new episode of Helsing Ultimate yet. <laughs> mm. Yes, that was a quick nod at Team Four Star. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> It's one of those things where you can't wait for the next episode, but then you're like, maybe the next episode just won't come. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure it'll take them a little bit of time. They've been dealing with some copyright issues. They got hit with a copyright strike a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, they got hit with a copyright strike and a bunch of their DBZ abridged got deleted. And removed from YouTube, um, which I think is ridiculous. Well, it's it's even they worse. Haven't, they haven't copyright infringed anything. I mean, yeah. yes, they use the the imagery, but they say very clearly at the beginning that they do not own it, that it is a parody, and that it is being used. Well, what's worse that is the is fact that theirs, they are, uh... and then they give they give proper credence to who it belongs to, and they yeah. tell people to support the the original animations. Well, what's even worse is the fact that they have worked with uh, Funimation in them in the past. Yeah, so... You can just, you can feel what they're going through. It has, I don't know, it's just... It's like why? Just 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 why? <laughs> <sighs> Quick
course, it's YouTube. I mean, YouTube has been freaking going after everyone for just stupid reasons. Yeah, YouTube hit uh, one of my personal favorite YouTubers, uh, Matt Pack, creator of the Game Theory, or Matt Pat. Did I say Mac Pack? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Definitely met Matt Pat. Sorry, Matt Pat, creator of Game Theorist, <laughs> one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. I've seen nearly every single one of his Game Theorist videos. Um, what do you mean an error occurred? Oh boy! I can go through this again. But, yeah, uh, YouTube's been doing that to a lot of people, so if you're actually watching, be careful exactly with what you post. Because not even, like, your little copyright, un your little copyright licenses in the front can save you anymore. <laughs> and it really sucks, too. Eight badges, a Pokedex, 257, 40 hours. All right, let's see what you got in here. Trackless Forest, what were you trying to catch? Here, a Pokemon you have. Audino, a Lugia, a Ho-Oh, a Latias, an Entei, a Braviary. I might be putting these in my Pokemon bank. <laughs> Thanks to every game I just got. Well then. <laughs> I don't know who you just captured. But let's leave the island. Let's leave trackless forest. And uh Yeah, I might need to uh But yeah. <laughs> Well, like, like, I'll play his new game, so... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still totally, totally, totally paying attention. But... <laughs> there it is. Sorry, I had to use the Eon Flute. Ah. Uh, but, so yeah, can... it's, it's pretty much all the way, what we have to discuss. I mean, uh, next month, we have a lot coming. I mean, 2016 is going to be a huge year for trying the Matrix. You see, that sounds so much easier to say now. Even I'm okay with it. <laughs> and if you don't understand why I just said what I just said, it's the fact that a lot of people have been having issues with saying try anim tricks. So I actually added an A after M and T. <laughs> so it's try in a matrix now. Let's see what they got here. Oh, a Pontiard, a Rufflet, a Raikou. Is that how you say that? Raikou? 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 Uh, I believe it is. I could be oh. wrong, but... <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But yeah, 2016 is going to be a really big year for trying to Matrix. We've got our new character comparisons that will be casted by me and Lycow. Uh, unbiased as much as possible. Lycow will have his new game series coming. You have a level 30 Eevee? Why? Interesting. <laughs> uh, we'll be starting up the Deadpool series. We'll be having about two videos a week of Armored Warfare. <laughs> Guess I might as well just take all these. Plus we have our new books coming out. Uh, oh hey, there's a Pokemon egg. I wanted to go ahead and kind of give an update of how Attribute Duel is going. It's been kind of slacking currently. And it's the fact that we just have so much going on. We have so many videos going out. We have new people coming in. Those people writing their stories. Ideas being brought up to us. 
there's it's just ooh. and I recently have been had I've had some stuff happen uh, won't won't make this uh, this Christmas stream emotional or anything so I'll just leave that alone <laughs> but yeah I mean we got quite a bit coming for y'all we're gonna make 2016 the year of trying to matrix entertainment 2015 was kinda like our our teaser it's like leading up to the main dish <laughs> it's like hey we tried <laughs> yeah, and who knows, you know, maybe 2016 will have even more people join us. Uh, within the next couple years, I'll have enough money completely saved up for me to actually move on over to Japan. And I'll be going to Japan Animation and Manga College, so that'll be awesome. I'll be able to get a degree and, and make better anime and manga and all that stuff for y'all, so yay! <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see here, what Pokemon do I not want to take with me? But pretty much, that's all we got to really say this time. Uh, uh, got some updates, we've had some announcements, we've had some delays. We've had to let people go. 2015 was one of those interesting years. <laughs> Who we let go? But we will see you all for uh, 2016. We bring you some of the greatest stuff we can possibly produce. <laughs> we will see you all next time. Actually, this Saturday for the finals of the Animatrix World Cup. Bye! See you guys later!